So the awareness is the motor act. That's really important. It's not the contraction, it's the awareness that creates the motor act. I'm kind of blown away by that since I first heard you say it, that awareness is a motor act. Um, I, I haven't done the nervous system, so I don't, I don't know all the different pieces or background. I was wondering if you could say maybe a little more about that. It just came uh, through the years that the awareness itself creates the activity. We can have different layers of awareness. I don't know if layers <coughs> is the right word. Different focus for the awareness. So I could be aware of this from my frontal lobe. It's not the same. My brain is too heavy. I don't know if you can see. I'm aware and I kind of have it. I mean, I'm not like this or like that. But when I can be aware in the cell itself, then I don't need to hang on to this. This is also free to, it's not trapped to the location of space. So it comes back to your question. How do we let go of having to be aware in our brain of an area? We all have a different way, and I'm sharing something that I'm exploring for many, many, many years. And, and you have now, we've been together six days. You have all your other experiences. You didn't come in here as a newborn or as an egg. But in some ways, that's what we were called upon, to go back to our egg and our sperm and then gradually build our memory. We, we didn't have a brain for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and then it took over and our education makes it the primary uh, avenue into learning. And how do we come back to uh, <coughs> experience being our primary? vehicle for learning.